was interested in biotechnology and pharma, pharmaceutical chemistry, but there weren't any jobs. I mean, this is 1981, and there was no biotech industry, or it was very in a very nascent form. So I moved to New York City from wonderful Madison, Wisconsin, uh, and lived in New York City parts of four years and worked for Kenyon and Kenyon, which then was the biggest patent firm in the country, and was able to do pharmaceutical work, but still wasn't learning much in the way of biotech, and it was still very early in the biotech world. The courts have said, and rightly so, that natural phenomena like lightning and gravity and should not be patentable, but now it's been expanded by the patent office to cover diagnostic tests, um, methods of medical treatment, new uses of old drugs to cure newer diseases, and it's just caused an uproar in the patent community. And I'm part of a group of, uh, I hesitate to say experts, but I've testified at the patent office and in professional meetings about trying to get the courts to look more favorably on what you can patent and what you can't. I was the first um, attorney to obtain a patent on a genetically engineered seed, a genetically engineered corn plant, and our firm issued the patent on glyphosate-resistant, um, now called GMOs, glyphosate-resistant corn plants and other plants. and. That patent was picked by one of the IP magazines. It's one of the most significant patents issued in the last, I don't know if it was 10 years or 100 years, but it was a, a nice thing to see. And on the other end of the, of the patent law spectrum, I did all the patent work on an anti-HIV drug called Carbavir that's been marketed uh, as Zeogen. And it was invented by a professor at the University of Minnesota. Well, we're now about the eighth largest patent boutique in the country, and by that I mean a firm that specializes entirely in patent law and doesn't do other kinds of law. We also don't have a litigation department, which is very unusual for a firm our size, but it helps us deal with the big firms that do have litigation. You have to be able to jump from field to field. You're not going to wa necessarily walk in and do all your work, particularly in pharma and biotechnology where we represent a lot of universities. You're not going to walk in and just work on one kind of patent application, like the kind of patent, the, the kind of drug that you might have worked in in school. 